Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from XDRAudimation.com and welcome to our next video of our XDRAudimation Weekly. And today we are going to talk about JavaScript testing framework to learn in 2019. All right, so let's get started. Gone are those days while testers were just limited to one single programming language or maybe two. But right now testers are doing a lot of programming languages testing and they are using a lot of programming languages like Java, VBScript and C Sharp, JavaScript, a lot of different programming languages. And we also know that testers should be language agnostic like a lot of companies will be using their own programming language for testing their applications. For some reason a lot of companies try to choose using JavaScript for testing the Angular based application because that goes very well together. Similarly, a lot of companies tries to go with C Sharp as the testing languages if their application is developed with MVC in ASP.NET or something like that. So testers has to be language agnostic in here. Well, as that said, in our last video in our software testing trend for 2019, we discussed that the programming language of choice for this year is going to be JavaScript, not just for developer, but also for testers. So it's now very important to see that a lot of different companies and tools are trying to use JavaScript as one of their important programming language while trying to create or run the test or maybe develop their application in the Chrome browser or any one of the IDE using JavaScript language as the base. So JavaScript is the language of choice for this year as we already discussed in our previous video. Well, as that said, the next question comes is, what is the tool that a tester can really pick it up to start learning for testing application using the JavaScript language. So what is the best framework to learn in 2019 to get started? Well, before answering that question, let's first understand what are the different kinds of testing tools available in the market to work with JavaScript. Well, as I said, we have discussed a lot of different frameworks in JavaScript and some of them we discussed already are Protractor, Mocha and Jasmine. And some of the most popular frameworks are like Mocha, Protractor, Jasmine, and Jest, Nightwatch.js, Cypress.io. And these are some of the popular testing framework which is used in 2018 and also going to be used in 2019 for sure because there are a lot of upgrade happening in these different frameworks. But the next question comes is, what is the best framework to learn in 2019 at least if we have not learned already so that we can leverage the power of testing JavaScript based application or testing from JavaScript languages in 2019? But before discussing the actual topic, first understand what is the different feature a testing framework should possess or must possess to be a best tool. And also let's understand what are the different testing trends available in 2019 before we actually get into the actual topic itself. Now everyone has started to realize or probably started to feel that UI testing is actually flaky and also it's fragile a lot. And also a lot of mocking if you do within an application there are going to be a lot of chances that you reduce the actual test itself. And also the testing has to be done on a regular basis, not after deploying the application to a QA environment or something like that. So if a developer is going to write any code, he has to perform any action. And once he do a save operation, automatically there should be an automation running to test the method that they have written and ensure that their application is working fine or not. So the testing has to be there integrated within the unit testing level itself a lot and then it should ship to the tester itself. So that this makes the testing more efficient and more accessible and available. So that's the testing trend happening right now. So a lot of companies are not just waiting until the application is ready for the testers to test the application, but they are trying to integrate a lot of testing within the development cycle so that the developers won't miss a lot of bugs and it won't go to the QA itself. That's really, really cool. So that's the testing trends happening right now. As that said, what a testing tool must possess to be a best testing tool and what is that going to be something a developer can also leverage so that the testers can be get benefited out from that. So a testing tool should be easy to use. It should have rich features. It should be extendable. It should be compatible with a lot of different existing tools which is available in the market which are kind of very, very famous. And also it should have great community support. So these are the different kinds of feature a tool must possess. Well, a lot of tools that we have discussed before like Protractor or Jasmine or Mocha.js 
or ciphers that I will puppet this tool by itself has so many community support they are kind of vastly used by the community so these tools are really really famous in their own mean but the one tool that you can learn for this year which is for 2019 maybe two tool is going to be just and puppet so just is used by facebook to test all javascript code including the react application and one of the just philosophy is to provide an integrated zero configuration experience which is really really cool so a lot of the features that you can see within the just is also very very highly extendable a lot of different companies are now using just like facebook twitter airbnb instagram and these companies are really using uh, just a lot for testing their applications and also the just is open source it's mocked by default making the test more easier and also testing react native app and it bundled with the js dom to enable dom testing and it has parallel test running it is faster so it mocks by default and one stop shop for unit testing and promise support and out of the box code coverage which is really really cool and also there are different kinds of extensions available for the Jest, something like Jest with the Jasmine, Jest with Mocha, like for Jest with Jasmine, it's something called as Jest Jasmine 2. And then for Mocha, it's something called Jest Mocha. Similarly, there is something called Jest Each and Jest Chain, Jest Standard. And for Puppet, if you're very familiar with Puppet, you can also see that they also have an extended plugin called Jest Puppeter. And then just has popular IDE support like VS Code, WebStrom, Autumn, something like that. So it seems like the just is really, really popular among the community and there are so much of support available. So the one tool that you can kind of focus for this year should be just on Puppeter. And again, Puppeter is kind of something which is going to be a replacement for Selenium itself because it seems like the Puppeter is really, really fast. It has a native support for Chrome driver and it's built on the top of Chromium project itself. So it is built by Google team. It's really, really cool. You can actually try that out. I can probably release that video soon. And also you can see that the just with Puppeter is also going to be leveraging the power of running the test much faster, even without having an actual UI based application. So it's going to be very, very fast as well. I'll quickly show you a demo of how the just is going to look like. We can see that here. And also I will show you the power of just itself. So first I'm going to open a terminal, which is nothing but item terminal here. And then I will quickly show you how it looks like. So let me first create a directory so that I can show you how it looks like. So I'm just going to use uh, MKDAR. Just demo one. I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to use Visual Studio Code to start creating the just demo project. So if you go to the just website, you will notice that the configuration is very, very easy in just, it's like zero configuration to get started with just. So all I'm going to do is this to make things much easier and faster. I'm just going to use the NPM package. So I'm just going to create a package and then I'm going to be adding a dev dependency and I'm just going to add two packages here. The one is the just and the just is going to be of one version, which is nothing but 23.6.02 so this is the latest version and you can see that Visual Studio Intelligence is much intelligent enough to bring that up for us and then I'm going to be adding the just runner uh, which is also one of the most important thing so I'm just going to use the mocha runner and I'm going to be using version 0.6.0 that's it I'm just going to save it and now I'm going to use the internal terminal within Visual Studio Code to start using it so the easiest way to install all the package is to use the npm install. So this way it will install the just and the just runner mocha for us within this particular Visual Studio IDE. And also in Visual Studio Code, I have installed just extension. So you can see there is a just extension. So please go ahead and install that because this is very, very handy and very useful while working with the just test. So that's the power, as I said in the video, that just extensions are very very handy while working with just itself so i have also installed that and it seems like the package has been installed and now i can go over here and i can start creating the files that's it so the installation is very very simple here as i said in the video and now i'm just going to add two files here the one is mathlib.js which is going to be our library file and then i'm going to be adding a 
add dot test dot js file which is going to be performing the test operation for us so this is like an application which we'll be testing within our code and then we are going to be adding a test for our code so for the mathlib operation this is the code this is going to be performing a very very super simple add operation for us within this particular method and then we're going to add some test operations in here so for writing test the first thing we need to do is to call our library that we wrote and then I'm just going to be calling this describe. So this describe seems to be more like a mocha version of describe. And this is exactly the same thing for just as well. So as you can see, it's a just dot describe, which brings in for us in here, which is really, really cool. And now I can start working with describe. So the intelligence again shows what sort of things it is sitting in here, which is also very, very great. The description is really cool to see. And then I'm just going to add a very super simple scenario this time. And this is the describe and we need to add the test for that particular describe block so i'm just going to say add two big numbers and you can see there is a test method is from the just as well so i'm just going to be calling that and once again i'll be using the lambda expression and for all the test operation we of course expect something to happen so why not just use an expect method very very cool so just has a library called expect which you can use to perform the operation like whatever that you're going to be verifying so i'm just going to be performing a sum operation here which is nothing but 88 and 89 and i know that the value of this to be 188 there we go that's the very simple simple test i'm just going to save this and you can see that now nothing is going to happen basically even if you try to run this test the code is not going to run so as i said we have installed the extension within Visual Studio Code. In order to make use of the extension, the, the very, very super simple thing that we can do is to go to the package.json file and we can add some more setting for us, which is nothing but just setting. And within the just, we have something called as test match. And within the test match, I'm gonna say, I need to match all the test.js file, which is the test file for me, right? I'm gonna save this and now if I go back to the add test.js file you can see things are coming up here the thing is like if you have closed this particular ide let's say i'm going to save it and i'm going to bring the code dot again which is nothing but visual studio code now you can see that once it refreshes it's going to add you a debug here which is going to be executing things automatically for you very very cool that's the power of extension and you can see there is a green color a dot here which means it is passed so the test is currently running without any problem so if you can see the past things is happening and now if I try to make this as 189 and if I save it you can see that it is going to throw you an error saying the expected is 189 that you have mentioned but the received is 188 so that's cool so the execution is happening on the fly for you and even if you want to run this particular test all you have to do is just hit the debug that's going to be the very very easiest case as well so let's say if i want to write one more test here i can just write it i can just copy paste it here and let's call this as two small numbers and let's call this as one and two the answer is going to be three i'm going to save it and you can see the test is execut executing again cool and if I want to perform all the operation, like if I want to perform a hook, like before all, before each, and before and after, so we can have all these different kinds of hooks available within the mocha functions as well as in the gist as well. So you can see there is before, which is the mocha function, mocha hook function. Before all is a just life cycle. Before each is also one of the most important functions that we can use for each and every scenario. And you can see there is something called as after and after all and after each. So these are some of the greatest methods that we can use within Jest to perform all the operation. So for instance, if I want to perform operation for each and every test, I can just copy paste this guy in here. I can save it and you can see it's expecting me to do two assertions. So I'm just going to use one assertion for now and you can see the test is actually executing, which is cool. And now even if I try to execute this test, all you have to do is just put just of add test.js 
and hit enter, you can see that it's gonna run the test for you and it's gonna show you the two test has got successfully completed. But you can notice that for every test, it's gonna be calling the before each method for you. So it's not before all, this is before each. So it's gonna be called for each and every test. So I can just run that and you can see that the before each method is being called. So that's the power of just itself, guys. It's very, very handy, very, very helpful to work with. And we can keep on extending the Jest in our upcoming videos of this Excel Automation channel. But yes, this is what Jest, as I said before, it's very powerful, easy to configure, and highly extendable. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day.